guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. <laughs> Abba! I'm and we're watching part two of the season finale of book one. Yep. There's a big battle. Big, yes. Bunch of stuff big going battle on. happening. Keep, it's the dying. northern... Siege. Siege of the North. The Siege Great Wall. Yes. Siege of the North. Yep. Siege of the North! Bird of the North! Now, uh, Aang is in his meditative state where he's in the spirit he's, world. He's in the spirit world. And he's also been kidnapped by, by Prince, Prince Zuko. Zuko. Well, he's not Prince Zuko, but he is a prince. But he's not. Yeah. Prince Zuko. We've also met the uh, the fiancé to... Or fiancé, I guess, Han. of this ice princess. Who? Han. Han. His hand. Kind of a jerk. A little bit. But at least it's, it's Sokka. Yeah. He seemed fine with his dudes. But he also seems brave. He's leading, what up, this, bro? He's leading this uh, mission. I doubt the mission will work, but we'll see. Sokka, jealous. Um, yeah. But his job is now to protect the princess. Yeah. Katara had a really awesome fight with uh, Zuko. Yeah. But she had the advantage of the moon being out rather than the sun. Yep. And once that came up... Did that day to night seem fast? Yes. Uh, it'll, it's, it's a 20 minute episode. It was pretty quick. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like whenever you play Zelda or... Skyrim. It just happens quicker. <laughs> right? I'm fine with that, though. It seems natural. Yeah. Like, this one just seemed like it just, like... Yeah. I don't know. It's not as bad as that one episode of Supernatural. Bugs? Yeah. Yeah. That one was pretty bad. That was bad. Okay, Dude, so uh, is, we're gonna go is... right into watching part two, and then we'll have a discussion Oh my god, part two! Hit the button! That's him! It's not him. That's Roku right there, right? <coughs> I don't know. He's using water. Or... He's an avatar. Uh, uh, that was a bad throw, too. Uh, I got you good throw. I did Almost not. choked. The Siege of the North, part two. Hello? I'm sorry to the monkey. monkey. I just... You're still here. <laughs> yes, I need. Oh. <laughs> Roku. Roku. Is a cute. He just slammed his head into a rock. Whoa. The ocean and the moon are ancient spirits. There is only one spirit I know of who is old enough to remember. Who? The spirit's name is Ko, but he is very dangerous. They call him the Face Stealer. Ooh. When you speak with him, Faceless you man? must be very careful to show no emotion at all, not the slightest expression, or he will steal mm. your face. That's that. horrifying. Get your face. Can you face. Fine. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no emotion, no reaction, no nothing. Just. <laughs> You're like my sister. Everything always came easy to her. Huh. She's a fire bending prodigy. That's and everyone adores her. In the beginning. Her. My father says she was born lucky. He says <laughs> I was lucky to be born. Shit. So my what? Was lucky. They have little catapults in the rhinos and those things. Oh, look, it, water cannons. Yeah. That's badass. Oh, no. Where they stay? Uh-oh. If we don't defeat the water tribe before the full moon rises, they will be undefeatable. I assure you, I have everything under control. I intend to remove the moon as a factor. What? Pick Piccolo. Huh? How? How? Are you mocking me? <laughs> Is that when he destroyed Oh, look. They did make it. Wow. Oh, okay. He's not very good. As I was saying. Wow. That's it. The identity of the moon spirit's mortal form. What? Huh? Tao, the spirits are not to be trifled with. I've heard rumors about your journey into the spirit world, but the ocean and moon gave up their immortality to become a part of our world, and now they will face the consequences. Mortality? Have we seen them before? What? Ooh. They flown likes wolves. Could the princess be the the moon? Could that be a thing? Oh. Ah! Fuck that dog <laughs> shit. Fuck. <laughs> what would I be without my face, Eric? Show no fear. Show no fear. Yeah, I'd be nothing. It's your moneymaker. <laughs> Thank you for your Instagram modeling. <laughs> no, right? Like and subscribe. Raise him down. Ah! Eat him. Is it a real face? Thank you. Take a cat No emotion. Friend, the Avatar. One oh. of your previous incarnations tried to slay me. Maybe eight or nine hundred years ago. I didn't know that. Why 
Why did he or I try to kill you? Oh, it was something about stealing the face of someone you loved. Rafiki shirt in the way. That was the monkey. You've come to me with a new face. Mm. That thing's freaky, man. Fuck yeah, that's like, that's a crazy, crazy ass, ass idea, right? man. How can I find them and protect them? You've already met them, actually. Twee and La, your moon and ocean, have fish? always circled each other in an eternal dance. Fishies they balance the each other. Those are the spirits. The koi fish! Oh! Oh, shit! I must be going now. <laughs> we'll meet again. <laughs> Fuck that thing. We're going fishing. <laughs> That's funny. Hyper beam! <laughs> Close beam! <laughs> oh, it's being summoned. Follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. Up here for a rematch? Trust me, Zuko. Mm. It's not gonna be much of a match. Yeah, she has the full moon now. Yeah. Bury him. Shit. Wait, we yep. can't just leave him here. Sure we can. Let's go. No, if we leave him, he'll die. Hank's too good. We gotta train him. Trying to kill us. Save the fish. Save the fish. No! Just captures the fish. Whoa! It's like a blood moon. Oh shit! That's that's crazy. Yeah, it is. Are they more powerful now? Oh shit! My eyes closed. Oh. Our healers did everything they could. That's why she got the white hair. They, told they will yeah. call me Zhao the Conqueror. Zhao the Moon Slayer. Zhao the Invincible. Get him, Momo, get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Be pissed. Everything would fall out of balance. You have no idea what kind of chaos that would unleash on the world. He is right, Zhao. <laughs> shit. Iro, Iro. Shit. Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. <laughs> go now. He does do it. Okay. Okay. Damn, I can't miss you. Oh no! Did he get them both? Oh no! He took them both out. Oh shit! Look at my boy! Yeah. Oh, he's scared. He's scared. He's fucking scared. Look how good he is. I knew it. No. It's over. Oh. Oh. oh Aang, what's he gonna do? It's not over. Oh wow, that's cool. What? Is he gonna be the fish? <laughs> <laughs> He's balancing it out, I think, or something. What is he doing? What cracks me up? <clears throat> what? Whoa. Bow to your god, Cthulhu. Yes. Like the fucking angel of death. That'd be scary. What is this? This is crazy, dude. The Avatar can do this? I think he's getting help with the sea uh, spirit. Because the other fish turned changed to. Oh. Zuko? Zuko. Yeah, I love Zuko. the fire. Him, Zuko. Yes, Lights up the did. color. You're the blue spirit, an enemy of the fire nation. That's cool. You're a disgrace, then at least. You could have lived. This is awesome. Ah! You have been touched by the moon spirit. Some of its life is in you. Yes, you're right. Is she going to give up her life? You gave me life. She has blue eyes. Yeah. I won't let you. Your father told me to protect you. I have to do this. She's gone. She's gone. Gee! 
Sheesh! Oh, 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 damn. <laughs> no wonder the Avatar can save the world. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. What? Jedi. Glow, glow here. I will always be with you. Lady of the Lake. Jeez. Right? It can't be. Oh no. Oh. He's too proud. And he failed. Like he would rather die than take help from Zuko. Then he better get used to calling you Master Kato. Oh! I knew this day would come. You must be proud. So proud. And sad. You too, Momo. Come here. Yes! <laughs> oh, who's that? Iroh is a traitor, and your brother Zuko is a failure. Ah. Uh... I have a task for you. Ooh. Like, is that her? You, you can't tell. I think that might be her. All right. Wonderful finale, man. Stepped up its game a lot. Like, in terms of events, like, yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Took exactly. that fucking moon down. And brought it back. And brought it back. And it, well, it was red, and then it was gone, and then it was back. And she was turned into a moon girl. Yeah. So she was related to the moon. At yeah. first, I was like, maybe she's the moon. When she was kind of fish yeah. there. When she, she was brought a, back the moon. When she was a baby, she had black hair, but then she had white hair. <laughs> moon hair. You know, moon hair, yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> moon hair. So to save her, she was given a piece of the of the moon spirit. And, and then she to gave save back the moon to spirit, the moon she gave it back. back. Yeah. It is well, a, that is yeah. A dragon heart. Yeah, that was, was like, <laughs> when she was born is when her father got the vision. That's yeah. why he thought, oh, maybe I can dip her yeah. in the water. Baptize her. Yeah, yeah, and then much. it'll it'll make her live yeah. and everything, but he still knew like in the back of his head, like I'm doing this so that this thing can save itself later. Yeah, which is ultimately more <clears throat> important. This is definitely I think like the most we've ever gotten of like the lore, like lore centric. I mean, we had the lore uh, with the spirits and with stuff the spirits back and stuff in like four, episode eight or ten. But this or I felt like there was just much more with the fish and the the, the, the faceless sun, thing, the, the moon, and the, the faceless face thing. stealer. Fuck that thing. <laughs> That was cool. Yeah, I hate that. It's like a weird caterpillar. It's got like a million spider thing, like a million it's like legs. A centipede. You imagine yeah. his legs just like spider thing. Going up. And then it had like instead of an eyeball, it had a face ball. And yeah. then whenever it blinked, there'd just be a new fucking face. Yeah. yeah. A monkey. That one monkey that turned around and had no mo face monkey. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah, scary. That, 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 yeah. Fuck that thing, man. Ah! <laughs> okay, that creeps me out when I watched it the first time. Too. For me, though, still MVP Iro. It was I remember coming in there and like, I'll, like, I'll fucking ten times or whatever the hell he says. And then, dude, Admiral just ran. He's like, he I'm ran. not going to try. He, he, then yeah. Zuko showed up, he's like, I'll fight you. Even during his moment of power with taking the sun away or making it red or whatever, Moon, yeah. Iroh came. Yeah. He destroyed. He took out those four guys like it was nothing. Yeah. And the Admiral. Yeah. Like, and we learned that anything. he's gone to the spirit world. Who? Iroh. They said Iroh actually went to the spirit world at one point. They, didn't they say that? They did say that. That was strange. He's he's on Avatar. I guess you could just do it if you have enough concentration or spirituality or something. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's maybe that's one of the reasons he's so damn good. Or he went looking for his dead son or something. Right? That could be a thing because we saw Roku. Roku's dead. Yeah. He's in the spirit world. Why did does oh Ohai is that his name? What is it? Ozai. Ozai. What, Fire Lord what, Ozai. What's Ohai? Ohio. No. Means oh, hello. Like oh, hi! It means hello. Oh, oh, hi, hi Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Ozai, like, he got word of him being a traitor? Yeah. Like, did he not think that the moon was needed either? The Probably whole balance not. of stuff? I don't think he cares about balance. He wants to destroy the other nations. And the Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the one thing that, that got uh, Zuko banished was talking against one of his... Advisors, one of his generals, mm -hmm. and and then losing to that, and, and, and refusing to fight. 
Yeah, right? and then General Iro. Yeah. Going against Admiral Zhao would have been, you know, a serious yeah. offense to him. It yep. would have been just as bad. Yeah. Okay, and now we now know that there's a sister in there too. So, so if we have if we have a new sister. fire if we have a new fire antagonist for book two, I'm assuming that means that Zuko is going to quickly become more of a friend of our k- heroes. He could. I mean, mm-hmm. if it sounds like her main focus is going to be Iroh and Zuko rather mm-hmm. than you're supposed to go get the Avatar. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Like, if she found the Avatar, she'd be like, where's Zuko? Or would she still go after the Avatar, too? I don't know. But it's interesting. I'm excited to see more as we go. But there's a lot of really cool stuff in this finale. They're not going to have anything, though. They had a boat that they just happened to get whenever they left, right? Yeah. They actually, it looked like it was fashioned from Water Tribe boats. And they made, like, a catamaran thing. And then they they got, like, uh, some Fire Nation, like, rags and stuff. No, not that. Not what they left on, the fucking little raft. I mean, the boat. They had a boat whenever they left when he got banished, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like if he's and men. if him and Iroh are both in trouble, they're not gonna have any boats or soldiers or nothing pretty much, right? Probably not. But they have Iroh. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're just gonna be roaming around villages or something. Yeah. I will say I liked the black and white moment of the moon mm-hmm. and the way the fire brought color back yep. to show like it's just really dark now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And that was their easy way of showing it being dark, but then color came back whenever the fire was flying. I thought that was yeah. really neat. That was yeah. cool, too. Like, not a lot of shows or even cartoons do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, I always enjoyed it as a really... It was a really interesting art choice to do it that way, rather than just have all the colors really... Dark. Desaturated. I will say, in terms of interesting art choices, you know, I know I've always bring this up, but Dave Filoni, he directed both of these finales, right? hmm He has common... Definitely common themes between this and like the Mortis trilogy, Mortis trilogy, and, and, trilogy and really. stuff. But like the wolf, the giant wolf in the background, Dave has he's like an obsession with wolves. Yeah. To so the point where he has like Commander Wolf in the Clone Wars, and he has the Wolf Pack mm-hmm. clones and stuff like that. But also, one of the faces of that thing was an owl. And we know that he has a thing with owls. Yeah. So well, with the Mortis trilogy and stuff, I thought about that during the yin and yang yeah. and the yeah. light shining and like the good, the bad, the push, the pull. Yeah, yeah. like that fit really well with that the Mortis cool. trilogy stuff. Yeah. All right, you guys got anything else? Um, Han's fucking dead. Dude, huh? How Han's about, just fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. So he got all the way. That was disappointing. Where, <laughs> he got all the way to where uh, Zhao was. Yeah. He's like for the Water Nation or whatever, and they go and just gone. Yeah. I, I said disappointing, but maybe not. I kind of liked it, too. I, it was kind of just funny that, nah, we have bigger stories to tell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, is he, so he's just dead, and his fiance is gone. And <laughs> that, I was, I, if I he was dead, she was dead. still alive. I, I was just saying that. So, like, he, yeah, he, he like, he makes his way back. From... He fights his way back. He's like, ah, oh, I love you. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, she's a fish now. <laughs> 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 All right, so, poll for this week. We're going to do a kind of a look back on this season. What was your favorite moment from book one of Avatar? For me, it's definitely when Iroh uh, channeled the lightning on the sea. Mm. That was definitely my favorite moment of, the, of this of this. Season. That was definitely a very good WTF yeah, moment. I loved that part. I remember that episode freaking being like, that lightning strike hit like when Zuko looked really mad. I wonder yeah. if it was like related somehow. Yeah. And then like five minutes later, he's like, Quijah! I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I had a good speculation and now it just told me. <laughs> it happens to me so much. <laughs> I think when Aang, when, when it reveals kind of his backstory about uh, how they were training him up and he left. And, yeah, yeah, and his like, guilt. His guilt, yeah, I think that really made me... Made, it, it turned him into a more compelling character for me. Sure, okay. Instead of just a goofy kid. Calvin, I know that you know more of the other seasons, but of season one, what'd you like? My favorite part, and it always makes me the most emotional... Cabbages. No. Oh. <laughs> My cabbages! No! no! My cabbages are just no. crying. <laughs> <laughs> um, when he enters the, the sacred pool and actually goes into the Avatar form. Yeah, Like that, that's the music pretty... and everything. I mean, that... Like, yeah, that was amazing. I want to kind of rewatch it. Yeah, I can't help music. but just like start crying. Yeah, it's just, and he's a big giant fish monster god. Yeah, he's like a Gyarados. Yeah, like, I, I I'm still trying to think like, is that him with the help of the spirit or is that the avatar form? That's the shit it can do. I don't know. I think it's connected with the spirit because the spirit also glue and the spirit and the spirit's a fish as well. <laughs> Turn into glue. light. Yeah, <laughs> Elmer glue. It emanated. 
light. Yes. Yeah. Energy. What would you say, Aaron? What's yours? I'm gonna go with the the. F- I have two in my mind. I think I'm gonna go with the first time the Avatar state showed up. Yeah. Because like with, with not knowing what to expect out of that, and all of a sudden it's just like all oh, this water shows up and it's funneling around yeah. and psh, but like destroys that ship and that part was pretty cool. Yeah. My other one was the first time that uh, Katara used ice. Sure. And throws jet in place. That was really cool. Okay. Are we, are we doing second favorites as well? Because I no. have one ready. You can you do, do it if you want. Good. When uh, when Ang and uh, Zuko were in the forest. And Aang was talking to him, like, you know, in, in another lifetime, yeah. we could have been friends. friends yeah, so. I was thinking about that earlier. That was my second That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was a good moment, too. If I'm going to do a second one. It's going to be whenever Avatar Roku took over Aang's body and fucked those priests and all those yeah. things up. That was awesome. In the in the fire temple? Yeah. Yeah. That was good. All right, we'll put those all on the poll, like <laughs> everything that we said there as a list. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch. So there's going to be an other option. And then for that, you can go down to the comments and you can place yours in there. So the poll is really just like a retrospective of the season. Whoa. Not necessarily competing against each other. So if you're a patron, you mm-hmm. could see the first part, the second part, and the poll like all at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I need to become a patron. Shit. Yeah. You should. All right. That's going to be it for book one of Avatar. We really enjoyed it. And yes, we will be back because some people will take Aaron as word. <laughs> we will be back next week with book two. And I'm not sure what element it is. It's one of them. Earth. Earth. Ooh. Fire. Earth is my favorite anyway. All right. Uh, so down in the description is all the links of our to our social media. Blindwave.net has stuff. And Shirts. We'll s- mugs. He says that part already. <laughs> no, but I like to emphasize it with a... Blindwave.net has. Blindwave.net has. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. Yep, yep! Oh.